Before we start off this video, I'd just like to show off the one minigame that I haven't actually shown off yet. Warriors Roulette, which is probably my favorite of the minigames. Well, okay. This one's my favorite, this one's my second favorite. Let's show off why... It's basically face match! <laughs> the faces are so ridiculous sometimes. So you gotta pick the right face and press A. And then, boom. And that's how you get your points. Sometimes the faces will either be really similar or go really fast. So, make sure you remember what the face is. Because the faces don't always look the best. I mean, actually, they always look the best. I, what I meant to say is sometimes uh, it goes fast. Like, I almost forgot what the face was. Oh, yeah, there's the home run. Duh. Looking. Also, if you get the face wrong, like one thing wrong, then you immediately lose. But yeah, it goes it goes by a little faster. And like some the, some of the faces, like the the mouths. Oh god, I've never seen that one before. Just like that combination. Jeez. Oh my god, that one too. It's weird, and sometimes they just give it to you immediately. I think this is by far the easiest one, though, to get a lot of points out of, because, like, it's not hard to... Because all the shapes are, like, pretty different. I almost got that... I almost forgot which mouth that was. I... See? I, did, I got it wrong. See, I got the wrong... I got the wrong eyes. But yeah, that's how that game works, and, uh... Yeah, now to the video. Hello everybody, this is Crystal Master 4, and welcome back to Let's Play Warrior Land 4. In the last episode, we completed the Golden Passage, and in this episode, which is supposedly the finale, supposedly, we're gonna go take on Golden Diva. The final boss of Warrior Land 4. We're doing it, guys. This, this LP took way longer to complete than I thought, but we're doing it. And uh, for the final battle, I decided to let's go with uh, Large Lips. Let's, let's go with one of these, just for the finale. Let's do this! He was the cat all along! Oh no! The cat got sucked into its face! Meet the Golden Diva! We just took down some of her health. Oh jeez, okay. So, yeah, that's what they think. They take out some of your health. What you're supposed to do is jump on these and then shoot them into the fan. And then as more heads come down, you're supposed to just keep jumping on them. So the faces turn into weird, like, weirder faces the more that Golden Diva gets hit. And I didn't expect that. Um. Shoot up, please. Shoot up, please. There we go. And now we just go and hit her directly into the head, right? No, wait, that's later. Now she's just gonna go spawn a lot of random things to try to hit us. And oh my god, really. And go shoot up, Wario! Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. Up! Thank you! 
Uh, and oh yeah, you're supposed to ah! You're supposed to hit that, and then it's supposed to bounce. Okay. Yeah, this boss fight's hard. <laughs> Just letting you know right now. Let's. Can we get? Oh, uh, that's a one-time use thing. Okay, well, let's try to fight it regularly then. Or, or does this? Does it, does it, 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 I don't think the damage stays down. No, it doesn't. Now we're gonna have to fight her regularly. Oh boy. I thought we could get a leg up on her. Also, we still have to complete it with all those treasure chests still there. So, that's another that's another factor. Oh no, the cat's gonna get sucked up into the girl's face again. Oh, Diva, what is wrong with you? Doesn't matter. This time, I've got for Preparation X. Whatever that means. I jumped on you! Oh, it doesn't hurt me. It just, I guess it just stalls me. Oh my god, stop! Yeah, no, it doesn't hurt me. I guess it's a special status condition, which is why it didn't kill me. Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah you can see some of her faces now. Alright, come on. You're making you're making this way harder on me than it needs to be. Come on, Diva, you can do this. Oh, freaking the eggs now! Oh my god! Come on, give me an egg. You will give me an egg. Just give me the egg. Oh my gosh! I don't have time for this. There we go. Wait. Wait. Come on. No. Hit up. There we go. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, I believe. Because hitting it up to the... Yeah, that, that's where that comes into play. Now I think she's gonna cycle. Is she gonna cycle through them now? Alright, there, there's that face. Come on! Do I still have until one minute to do this? I, I wanna say that I still do all oh, that face. Oh! Come on! Oh my god! Boom! We have 30 seconds. I think we could do this if we try our damnedest. It's possible. It'll be hard, but it'll be possible. As long as I keep getting this. Dang it! Okay, I, I don't think I'm gonna win this. Cause do, wait, do I have until two minutes or one minute? Oh damn it! I have two minutes. Oh, that's not fair. All right, well, kill me, little ducky. Yeah, I have to beat it within two minutes. Or three minutes. Wow, okay. We're, we're gonna get close and personal this time.
Oh my god. Ah! Yeah, I did it! Partially. Alright, come on. She can destroy the platform, but you gotta hit her in the head. This is the final phase. And boom! You are dead! All of these treasure chests are mine. All of them. Yeah. That's all the treasure chests from every single stage and all of the treasures from every single boss. We got all of them. And now we gotta escape all Metroid style, I think. Because the, 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 the. It's gonna fall and it's gonna break. We gotta get the cat out of here and possibly the professor. Possibly the professor. Come on, cat, you can survive. Come on, Wario. I know you can possibly. Oh, no, nope. Professor Man's a dick. <laughs> now he's gonna leave. Come on, Wario, take your treasure and let's leave the pyramid. Again, totally Metroid style. And there we go. There goes the pyramid. Crumbling. And you know what? At least that we got that archaeologist professor man out of the out of there, otherwise he would have died. As well as all the paintings in there, all those priceless paintings. But hey, we're laughing with a cat, so it's all fine and good. Oh man, what's going on? The cat just absorbed all those artifacts and oh my god, it became a princess. Oh my god, the cat became a princess. Thank you. Wario! Heart face. Heart, heart face, goddamn. It's like, thank you, Wario! She's like, and yet, yeah, Wario's dumbfounded because he actually got a kiss from someone he's never met. And there go the baby cherub fairies, I guess. And there goes the princess, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Maybe she was under a curse, but hey, Wario got some money, so that's all he cares about. Take that money, gonna go somewhere with that. And that pyramid's all... Oh. Oh, I guess depending on... Oh, hey, there's a boss we did. And those treasures are just exploding in the atmosphere as the credits roll by. So, I didn't realize this. Apparently, if you get every single treasure, your car changes. Or, I guess it depends on what mode you beat it at. Because I beat it in normal mode and didn't get all the treasures in it. Like, because I didn't beat it fast enough. So, I got the regular Wario car. I guess he got a truck to carry all that bag with now. Because I've never seen this before. But yeah, that was Wario Land 4. Uh, it was fun. I really wanted it... Shut up, Skype. I really wanted it to be a really short series. Like, you know, just like a pocket series. Like uh, Donkey Kong 94, because, you know, my channel's been mostly Undertale. <laughs> my channel's been mostly Undertale, and I did beat a project, so I'm like, I should probably do something short to, you know, to, to go in between series. Well, this took almost two months, because I've had, like, no motivation to record. <laughs> That and there's like a lot of other Undertale stuff. It's weird how I don't really like Undertale that much and yet it's been taking up the majority of my time. I don't know. I, I hope I hope for the, that you guys enjoyed this. I've never I've only, I've seen it being played on super hard mode and I've played it myself on normal mode, so I'd like I, I wanna try hard mode. I've not seen anything about hard mode. Because I saw a certain G guy play super hard mode and I played the game myself I think once or twice on my own. But on a different computer, because I never owned the cartridge on my own. But regardless, like I like this game. It's pretty, pretty fun. 
and it's the only it's the only Warrior Lands game that I've actually completed. Like I've completed all the other Warrior Wear games because you know those are those were my childhood. I never played Warrior Land. I never played Super Mario Land. I played Warrior Wear. I played. I never played Warrior Land two or three or Shake It. I played Warrior Wear, Touch, Twisted, Not Smooth Moves yet, but I will. And Game and Wario. Actually, I played only the demo of Game and Wario, but like, no, Wario was a lot of my childhood, and in terms of like, you know, the WarioWare games, because they were short, but they were kooky and they were fun, and they were, they were just so great. <laughs> and like playing this game, which came around the same time. As you can tell, with all the Wario wear noises, um, it's pretty sweet. Like, it's a pretty fun platformer, and it does kind of, um, it does kind of not predate. I, I guess it, I guess it does predate. It predates Wario Land Shake It and their mechanics and how they work, because it's roughly the, the same game but with different, slightly different mechanics. But it's mostly like this game but done in a different way, and I like that. So, uh... Yeah, expect WarioWare games, because, like, I'm definitely going to play WarioWare uh, Touch and Twisted. I'm definitely going to play them. Oh, is that Wario's new girlfriend? Clever. But, uh, yeah, I, I think that this was one of my... I guess for a short series, it went on pretty well, I think. Like, I didn't expect anything like what happens in a lot of stuff, and, you know, the difficulty did increase, but not too much to the point where it's like, ugh, why? But yeah, that's Warland 4. A few days later. Oh man, the intro cutscene. But not exactly. You know why? Because there's a WHITE CAT this time, instead of a black cat. And another newspaper. Guess which one this says. <sighs> Steaks. Eat as much as you can for ten dollars. Um, is it good to have the cow as a mascot for that? Regardless, THE END! We got the full ending! Yay! And there goes Wario, going to eat food now with his riches. And now we can uh, go to super hard mode, which I'm not. But yeah, that was Wario Land 4. This has been Chris Master 4. This has been Warrior Land 4. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment on what your favorite part of the episode, the, se the series was. Please let me know. Give me feedback. I like seeing your guys' feedback. That's one of the very few things that I will constantly endorse. I don't care about the subscribing. I don't care about the liking. You can do whatever you want for that. Like, subscribe if you want to. I don't really care. I mean, it'd be nice if you did, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force you to do that. And, you know, if, if you like this video, then like it. It's just, it's just simple things. But definitely tell me what you guys think. Like, tell me what you guys enjoyed, what you guys didn't like, and, you know, future feedback for future episodes. So, yeah. This has been Chris and Master 4. This has been Wario Land 4. 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four, four, four. See you guys next time for another video.